using ZBrush, what's the best way to get some ideas? Uh, the one, I w one way is to use silhouette drawing. On normal paper, you just, you know, you, you sketch and you eventually find, ooh, that, huh, this might be a good idea. Um, you sketch and eventually you see something, but one really nice feature in this program is you can place a flat color on one of your painting, and then you get really nice, um, You, you have a really nice way of uh, creating silhouette drawings. Okay, so let's see what we can make. Huh. Oh, does anybody, uh, what is that? Um, that cartoon dog. What's his face? Oh, let's expand on this. Cool. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, change our brush, everyone loves play, let's see, um, oh, yeah, okay, that, that's good, um, oh, that's not good, um, ta-da, Yikes. Um, you know, just because I've got my idea, I'm going to start working in a basic material. Okay, that. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, that's scary. Okay, let's work on this side. Um, so, let's flatten this out a little bit using H polish. Great, great tool. Flat, 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 flat. Subtools. Geometry. Diamesh. Okay, that's good. So we can just... Don't have to worry about much right now. No, I don't want that. Ugh. Not good. Worse. Uh, whenever you whenever you see this, you know, um, Dynamesh is really really fun because you can. Oh, that's great. Because uh, you can create such wonderful things very very quickly. But whenever you see this and you like, I I can't fix that. Uh, oh, scary! What happened? Uh, base material. Um, that, that's nice. Just get your inflate brush, and it, it creates geometry, just, and you eventually see this, or those, um, empty spots kind of fill up, and then just smooth things out with Dynamesh, and it, it does something like that, and you can, yeah, see that, that really helps. Ooh, just to make sure. Okay. Ta da! Okay, that's good. Now let's use the inflate to fill something in here. Because that doesn't look right. It looks bad right now, but when you use Dynamash, it'll fix everything. In other 3D programs, that would be quite a mess to uh, fix. But, um, let's see if this does. Mm, yeah, okay. And smooth that out. And, ooh, not good. There are a few stragglers. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Right. 
let's pull some um, I'll use snake hook to pull some of this down uh, out okay let's fix this Nope, that's not good. Okay, we'll we'll come back to that. Um, I'm making a character's head right now, and this is the front, and this is the back. So let's see. One big thing I realize in ZBrush is you start out small. There's, I don't know, you can make anything from anything, so you really don't need to worry. Um, yeah, just, okay, that doesn't look right. And what is that? That is not cool. Okay, let's use eight mm, parts. Ta da! Okay, I'm pretty sure that fits close. Okay, now let's use move. Zoom out a little bit so we have a larger brush to focus on the shape of the skull. Okay, then the side. Starting to look like an alien. I don't know. If my original idea doesn't work out, I'll probably just go in that direction. Because who's going to tell you that's not not looking like an alien? Nice. Okay. Um. Now here's the nose. Oh, that. I don't know. I'll. I'll fix, I'll work on the face and then try and, I don't know, it's a strange head. Um, okay, center. Fancy. Oh! Okay, now I'm trying to make a nose, so I'm going to show you something that will really really help anybody's workflow. Okay, brush, blob, fancy fancy. Now this takes a little bit of practice, but we um, do lots of experiments with this pr uh, brush. It can be very useful. <laughs> okay, that's good. I like that. Okay, 
Now, I could probably use the same brush for what I'm thinking of the, of the eyes, but first I need to create like an indent. So, probably, I don't know, I'm just going to experiment what that looks like. Yeah, uh, too much. Um, opacity. When I'm trying to adjust little things, I like to work in 1% because I, I figure if I take the time to just all oh, that. Oh yeah, haha. <laughs> That's funny. Um, if I take the time to um, work on my model. I don't know, be patient, things usually work out, and um, I don't know, let's smooth things out and see what it looks like, yeah, that's good. Now, I'll probably use insert sphere. Face that out so we can then one fan this is really cool. Um, when you insert something new, it isolates it from everything else. So you can still tweak it. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a strange head. Um yeah, I wasn't thinking very well. Let's yeah, I, I want it just the eyes. So, big brush, pull. Now when you have spheres, you want to work on them as less as possible because their original shape is perfect. Um, yes, no, yes, no. Uh, that, that's okay. Now let's hmm, click. Yeah, and you you press Control click to invert the selections, and now I'm focused on the head. So uh, I'll probably come back to this. Okay, let's make move so. Hold down Alt <coughs> and pull in the nostrils and then H polish. This is, I don't know, H polish t tends to flatten the immediate surroundings out. Uh, it's, yeah. The immediate surroundings out so when you make a hole like we've just done and then you H polish in the very center it kind of uh, flattened things out in the back and then blob gives a nice organic look I'm going to smooth out soon. Okay, so... Control... Yeah, I think that had to be done. Okay, that, that's looking good. There's the eyes. Now... Let's create the cavity of the ears. Cool, that was quick and easy. <coughs> if you're careful, you can do most of the model with the blob brush. Hmm, okay, now with the front of the face more defined, I can <coughs> make out the problems with the head. <coughs> 